going on? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, first up, we checked out the Founders Edition GTX 1080 card, and it was pretty badass. And in fact, the new driver made it even more badass. Now, let's check out one of the first non-Founders Edition cards. That's right. This is the G1 Gaming Edition from the people over at Gigabyte, featuring a lot of cool shit. So let's unbox this badass motherfucker. Okay, so like any unboxing, obviously we're gonna have to check out first off the box. You guys can see it's the Gigabyte G1 Gaming Edition of the GTX 1080. Gonna be awesome stuff. Their wind force cooling RGB spectrum means you can change all the colors on it. And this is the overclocked version because they have two different versions on this particular one. And we'll talk about that in a second because they actually have one that's called in gaming mode and another one's called overclock mode. A little strange, but okay. So the front of the box, nothing there. Side of the box, just once again, we just see the nomenclature of the card. The back of the box is just talking about the Windforce 3X cooling system. You guys are familiar with Gigabyte. You guys know this is an awesome cooling system. Make sure that all that heat is being dissipated away from your GPU so you can overclock and game like a mother fracker. So obviously, 16.8 million customizable color lighting, which means obviously the RGB thing, you can change all the colors. Now I know there's gonna be some people out there who are gonna say they want 16.9 or they're not happy, and for those, I'm sorry. And then once again, we just have the GPU gauntlet sorting, which means that when they pick these cards out, they use the best components. They even have the rear I.O. here, but we'll talk about that later. Side of the box, you guys can see all the nomenclature of the card, all its model number and all that good stuff because Gigabyte loves to have long numbers for their cards. And that's pretty much it. So we'll pop the cap here and get to what you guys want to see is the card itself. And this is the first non-Founders Edition card that we've seen here at Tech of Tomorrow. So things are a little bit different. Still a lot of this things are the same. 8 gigabytes of memory, 256-bit memory bus, gdr 5 x memory in fact so that's really cool so let's check out what comes as the extra content is there even any really extra content in here it feels awful light um yeah okay um nope <laughs> awfully light in the lowers as far as extra equipment goes there but uh we do have the driver cd which is obviously important and we have a quick guide for graphics cards because i guess there's going to be somebody out there who's never had one before and this is going to tell you how to put it in and all that stuff so out of the way it goes now, like I said, the overclocking mode features a 1721 megahertz base clock and a boost clock of 1860 megahertz. Now the end gaming mode is a little bit different. It features a base clock of 1695 megahertz and a boost clock of 1835 megahertz. And the memory clock on the G1 Gaming Edition is 10,010 megahertz. Pretty fast. So we can see right off the back, we've got three nice fans. You guys can see all of the aluminum heat fins underneath there. And then once again, we see that copper heat pipe running off of the card. You can't totally see it's prevalent, but down here, the insertion slot for your PCI. Just flip it to the side, let you guys take a look at the card. Take a look at the back of the card, for the rear of the card rather, then we'll flip it around over here. Now the gigabyte thing, this lights up. You can change all the lighting, like we said. Requires a single eight pin power connector, 500 watts is the power supply that they recommend. But they said the draw is only about 165 watts, so you're probably gonna be pretty good. Uh, you guys can once again see a little bit of the heat. And on the reference cards, I know they said it was 150, but sometimes when the cards suck a lot of juice, it does change a little bit. And then we'll go to the back right here. Now, we all love this. The solid backplate, I wish every card in the market has it. Gigabyte looks badass. You can see right down here, we have the two SLI fingers. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the connections of the card. Single DVI, three display ports, and a single HDMI connector. You can hook up four monitors, which is pretty awesome. So those people who like doing surround vision and all that stuff, you'll be able to do it with this card. And all that VR stuff and everything is obviously going to be here as well. Now, as far as how the card sizes up, it has a height of 42 millimeters, a length of 286 millimeters, and a width of 115 millimeters, just slightly bigger than a Founders Edition card. We'll also give that to you in inches for us folks here in America. So, all right. I know it's kind of a quick video, but there you guys have a quick unboxing of the brand new G1 Gaming Edition GTX 1080. So it's up to you. Do you want a Founders Edition? Or do you want a non-Founders Edition, baby? Woo! All right, well, give me a couple days and uh, we will have all the scores. Now, a friend of mine, you might want to check out his website. His name's Mark Poppin, and he has this cool website, and it's called Babble Tech Reviews. I'll have a link down below. And he's actually the guy who's going to be working with me and doing all my testing for now on so I can free myself up to just have creative ideas. Now, this guy just loves to test shit, like, to the end of the earth. So be expecting, like, another 25 games, you know, with this card. And 
Got another 1070 coming, so I'm going to have 1070 SLI and 1080 SLI for you guys next week, so stay tuned. By the way, you want more information about this card or even this card, check out that link down below the like button. And if you like the way this card looks, you know what to do on that like button. Bruce Lee the shit out of it. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you soon for more tech and more.